What's up, y'all? So this is another thing, like, you guys ever come across those fillers, like, at Myers Briggs, or any ICPs out there? Or just, like, not even, not even just at Myers Briggs, just people in general. Um, I've noticed, but it usually tends to be fillers that do this. These are not, like, fillers that are mature, though. These are, like, immature fillers who have a difficult time. I've been, I've talked about this before. I hope I'm not repeating myself too much. But I kind of am digging deep into this because it is kind of annoying. Um, this is kind of like a subtitle to the topic I did about how ICPs are not bad at reading people and reading people's emotions. Um, but we're going to touch on those people that try to make it seem like being a thinker means you're like a sociopath or a psychopath or something. Especially when it comes to ISTPs. I, I see it a lot with us. Maybe, I don't know if it's just because I, I, I'm an ISTP and I only notice it when they do it with us. But, um, and they talk about how we like empathy. But the funny thing is, um, this is how you, some of you got fillers, like um, these immature fillers, they're actually the ones that like empathy. It's actually a, a, a projection. Like they talk about how we like empathy, sympathy, um, which can be the case in certain situations. But the thing is, these people like empathy and sympathy. They have trouble um, empathizing with people who don't show their emotions. So basically, they're projecting. Like you can't empathize with me just because I don't show my emotions all the time. So you have trouble empathizing with me. You don't think I have emotions. So actually you're the one who lacks empathy it's funny how you how they try to make it seem like we act like empathy but they the ones that like empathy you know what i'm saying but that's a whole nother point whole other topic but i'm going to talk about they the one the ones that try to call us psychopaths and sociopaths and stuff like that they they try to throw those terms around um and i've also seen like some unhealthy uh well, this is a common thing for for for, for like unhealthy ESTPs or immature ESTPs. They'll try to do this too. Um, I've seen ESTPs try to try to project on the ISTPs and say, "Oh, ISTPs are sociopaths and stuff like that." But really, um, for the most part, when it comes to an unhealthy ISTP versus unhealthy ESTP, unhealthy ESTPs have more sociopathic traits than unhealthy ISTPs, like far more. They they have a lot more um, sociopathic traits than us. I try like they 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 have way more. They let they um like more. They have more narcissistic and sociopathic traits. Not to say they're narcissistic or sociopathic. I'm just saying. I mean, you can have some traits of some mental disorders and stuff, and not have that mental disorder. I'm just saying, like, if you want to talk about, if you want to be technical like technically speaking they have more than we do as unhealthy you know what i'm saying but that's that's not i'm not trying to call them social bad of course i love estps okay but estps that do that i've seen them do that they'll try to act like istps or the because they can't imagine not having because they have well the thing is with them they have tertiary fe so they're thinking like okay if i have tertiary fe and i'm already pretty uh sociopathic then imagine having it as my lowest function that means they're probably real really sociopathic that's how they see it but it's not the case trust me um so with the fillers right these people just think they don't they have a hard time understanding how you could not show emotion okay we're not psychopaths we're not sociopaths we just so we're a psychopath and we're social and usually uh, these type of fillers, they're like emotionally manipulative fillers and very, uh, they're used to being able to control people's emotions around them and stuff like that. Um, I had more of a problem with this with the uh, immature extroverted fillers than I do the uh, introverted fillers, but it can happen both ways. But really it's like these people are so used to being able to do things to control. These are like the controlling ones. They're used to being able to do things to control people's emotions and stuff like that. So when they come across somebody like an ISTP, we're not, we don't like emotion. We just don't let people control our emotions. We control our own emotions. ISTPs are in control of our own emotions. So when we become emotional about something, it's because we want to be emotional about it. It's on our terms. We don't, 
become emotional about things on other people's terms. Okay. That's all it, that's what it is. Um, let's just call that out. We just don't want to become emotional about things on other people's terms. We're not, um, I've seen, they, they, they really, they try to make sure like that we're almost sociopaths or psychopaths or something. No, we're not anywhere close. It's like, I think people just become butthurt. People who are used to controlling everybody's emotions around them and stuff like that and, and manipulating them, they just become butthurt when they come across people who they can't control. So they try to act like, oh, he something's wrong with him. No, it's like you're just butthurt because I, I control my own emotions. Um, I feel what other people feel, but I'm in control and I choose whether or not I want to um, react emotionally to something. Well, I choose not to react emotionally to things. And you know what I'm saying? And think emotionally about things. I choose to be logical and be in control and be rational. Um, and, and that really makes me a more civilized human being than somebody who who doesn't do that. You know what I'm saying? It makes me a more composed, civilized individual. It doesn't make me um, bad or something like that. You know what I mean? They try to make it seem like it's such a bad thing, and like you're not you're not in touch with your humanity or something like that. I, I hate that. That that's very irritating to me because you know what I'm saying. I'm a human being as well. It doesn't. So basically, you're dehumanizing us because we don't show emotions like you do. We're different from you, so you make it seem like we're not human. Which is wrong. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 a hallmark for lack of empathy and sympathy for people in itself. And they try to make it seem like we the ones who lack empathy and sympathy. So reality, these are people who lack self awareness, so they're projecting onto us because we don't show emotion. You know what I'm saying? Psychological projecting is for people who are not self aware do more often did not you know what i'm saying but this is just something i just know and, and it had an epiphany i mean i knew this thing but it's sometimes the words just come to you it came from my subconscious mind you know what i'm saying i had been thinking about it for a little minute it's like i don't know how to put this into words what i'm seeing so it just randomly just came to me i had woke up as soon as i woke up in the morning i was thinking about it and it was like it just came to me that's your subconscious giving you answers you know what i mean but yeah you know what i'm saying that's all the projection. That's all BS. You know what I mean? Like people who do that, they need to go look at themselves and see what's wrong with them. You know what I'm saying? And stop trying to project on us because we don't show emotion and stuff like that. We, we got to find ways to make it seem like we're evil. That's because we're not showing emotion. And like, what are we doing to hurt anybody? We're just not showing emotion. We're not letting ourselves be rattled by things so easily. And it's like, how's that a bad thing? You know what I'm saying? Because we're not making you feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? That makes it a bad thing. It makes us evil somehow. Because we're not making you feel comfortable. We're not making you feel validated. And um, you know what I'm saying? You're so used to being able to do it to everybody else. You feel now you see it as a source of validation because you're used to doing that to other people and, and, and most people they react emotionally. Um I'm I'm almost convinced that thinkers are thinkers more rare than fillers, I don't know, but most people don't have control over their emotions. Let's put it like that. So when you come across somebody who does, I guess, when, when you're used to doing that, it, it, it bothers you. So um, hope I drove that point to the ground. I hope y'all get it. I don't want to make this too long. Pretty short video for me. I can, I can go on about it. But that's just something to think about. Uh, I'm not trying to just keep making an ICB video, but this... I mean, it does match my name, though. Maybe I should do a lot of ICP videos since my name is M. King ICP. It kind of fits the theme, right? But, um, yeah, um, kind of does fit the theme. You know what I mean? Um, and also, no, nah, never mind, but I'm gone. That's all I got to say about that. Don't let people shame you for being a, for not being emotional. If you don't want to be emotional about something, it's your decision not to be emotional about something. You don't have to be emotional about everything just because just to make people feel better, just to make people feel comfortable. That's the only reason they want you to be emotional. You don't have to be emotional. Who says who? Who makes up these rules? You know what I'm saying? I do what I want to do. You know what I mean? You can't tell somebody how to feel. You can't tell somebody when to feel. That is crazy. That is ridiculous.